Oh, another, another bone charm. Nice. One of eight. There's a lot here. Robust wow. one. See what this is. So, man, yeah, I, I just, like, love to look at, love to see design docs and, you know, hear the mentality of developers. Potions like, give you slightly more health. That's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad, but I've already got all my slots full, and I've got other stuff I yeah. want. Definitely, when you're playing this game, definitely one of the upgrades you should go for as soon as you can is having more bone charm slots. It will help you out. Well, it... is there not a bone charm that helps, um... Like, doesn't it give you extra coins or something? There might be. I'm not sure. Are there? Is he... I thought there was. That sounds vaguely familiar, but I couldn't say... If, I mean, I, if there was, I haven't used it. So I was going to say, like, if you do that, then it, like, pays for itself. Seamless editing. Okay. Now we need to... Alright. Just head up this way. Yeah, basically, we have to go all the way to the top of the refinery to get inside, and then we have to go back down to the bottom inside. Uh-oh. Hey, fellas! Oh, what? I'm a- OH NO! Oh. <laughs> now, you know, Nick, that I'm a fan of the whole sliding kick thing to knock guys Oh, over. yeah. Unfortunately, it does require a fair bit of finesse, especially when there's, like, no railing. <laughs> well, the slide kick's just a good attack. But, all right, let's 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 try that again this time. We've learned a valuable lesson from our previous attempt, so... Should be fine. Down we go. Slash the throat. And, oh shit. And I think that time, I actually, the slide I executed correctly, it's just then I accidentally, I just took another step forward for some reason, and that killed me. <laughs> Alright, third time's the charm. Third time's the evil whale spawned bone charm. And now I'm stuck in here. There we, there we go. Now, I'm pretty sure this does reduce the number of guys elsewhere later on. Oh! Killing oh! oh! And that, that time, I didn't even hit him with the slide. But you may notice, I did, like, as I was falling, I, like, sliced it. I sliced his ankle. <laughs> Hamstrung him. All right. This time. Oh, that... He's down. Oh, that guy wasn't finished. There we go. Not a nice. slide, but that, that final blow I thought was sending him over the side was still pretty sweet, I thought. I, I got the notice I got the charge up for the uh, adrenaline blow, but I didn't, yeah, have time, yeah. didn't have time to use it. Another backup power receptacle. And a more more empty tank required. Prefer to find an empty tank. Aha! You could wind blast that, but your sword will do fine. So no sense wasting the magic. That's a, that's a I guess if you if you for some reason waste all these tanks and still need need it you can mm. that'll dispense more for you. Oh, a coin. Must, must be tricky picking up those coins when you already got this thing. 
Well, maybe there was something on it that we just turned into money. That's true. Why isn't this turning into money? That's a good question. Yeah, why isn't that affected by his his transmutation powers? Maybe he also has some limited telekinesis. Well, we I believe we speculated before that it may perhaps the thing is just floating in front of you. Yeah. Cor Corvo is actually assisted throughout his quest by this friendly ghost that carries stuff for him. Uh, everything is better with friendly ghosts. They, they, they had they had to like cut his voice actor for budgetary reasons, so he doesn't actually get mentioned in the game anymore. <laughs> Excerpt from a book on well-established companies in Dunwall. In the early days, when the ships brought in the great dead whales, men would slaughter them and reduce their blubber to oil in massive vats on the banks of the Renhaven. Small crews maintained their own vats, with workers specializing as fire tenders, slicers, gut men, haulers, or strainers. Inevitably, once the demand went up, the businessmen moved in, wooing the best crews with promises of better pay and safer conditions. The warehouses went up at the edges of the Rushmore Financial District almost overnight. None was more organized, or some would say more ruthless, than the Greaves Whale House, opened by Ebenezer Greaves himself. The Greaves Whale House grew rapidly, absorbing rivals until it dominated the trade. At its peak, the operation employed over 300 workers, not including the children who filled minor and often tragic roles. Those associated with the refinery were recognizable by their head-to-toe industrial leather uniforms and the masks they wore to protect them against the fumes. Yeah, so that's that's you know the you know the, the whalers. That's why they're that characteristic. There's this that you know that song. I right, we've seen this one before. I suppose I'm weird because I still can't read the word whalers without thinking of whalers on the moon. No, it's not so weird. <laughs> Long way down. Did it peek in that thing? Too narrow to blink through. Except in a. All right, this is just basically explaining, you know, br the, the the bridge the bridge needs or needs needs to be powered. It's actually possible if you go in just the right spot to uh, forego, you know, using the bridge, opening the bridge, and like there are certain. Like very specific spots where you actually can blink through, but it's a pain in the ass, and when you can do you just do this. There we go. Long way down. Oh, I'm, yeah, I, remember. I was about to ask why. Wait, why am I doing this? Now I remember. <laughs> I'm trying to take those, take out those guys way at the bottom, but my tank throwing skills are not refined enough to. Are you gonna go for the leap attack? No, I don't think. I don't believe so. I have tried that in other playthroughs, and I, I think I've learned my lesson. Although I assume it's possible. I mean, I see no reason why it wouldn't be. Now, there's also a couple guys on these like these platforms on the way down. There's one right there, actually. And I'm going to go against my cardinal, my usual rule and of not getting close to weepers. You don't want to engage them in melee. They grab hold of you and they just expectorate all over you. There he is. There he is. Ever 
so gently. There we go. That's how you do it. You won't be needing this. Here's another one. Get, get the hell away. Oh! That wasn't intentional. But it worked out. Yeah, it worked, so. Chains jangling. Oh no, that's actually not the other one. That's the one I ran from. Go. Ugh. I don't like noise. No, it's. You scout ahead. Damn it! Oh, there we go. There's a lot of them down there. And even one, even one weeper in melee combat can be potentially quite dangerous. You don't want to have to like slash your way through four or five. didn't go so well. Nice. Let's let's try a second time. This time with competence. All right. That's more like it. Oh yeah. That was a nice shot if I say so myself. Okay, the plague must have been in progress before this place got flooded if there's, like, plague cure on the shelf there, you know? Probably. I mean, presumably no one came, like, no one came in here after the place was trashed and just stocked it with medicine. Although I suppose it's possible some, like, refugee who didn't yet have the plague fled here and carried it with him, you know? That's true. But... Now I've got got all my stuff back. I have missed it. Huh? You just had to toss it down here. What a dick. At this point, I kind of... My sense of direction just crapped out on me completely, and I spent a couple minutes just sort of ambling about trying to remember how to get out of here. You, you, you don't have to see all of it, fortunately. <laughs> there we go. But what you got to do is there's another uh, big uh, wheel you gotta turn that'll open the big door. Yeah, I find the problem with, um, like, beaker beacons that, um, mark Ooh. where you're supposed to go 
It's often it's, it's like a straight line. It's like it, it points at a straight line, which isn't which might not actually be the path you you have to take. Yeah, it's like the problem you were talking about before with dark vision, like where you might need to go might be like two meters away, but it's through the actual a path wall. is not. Yeah. Are you still on about that? Jeez, lady. There we go. So? Would it not be the thing that they feel for most of their life? She's talking about the whales, right? Right. Well, I don't know. Me usually, usually they're. That's an interesting question. Although, presumably, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it'd be like. I don't know. Uh, I, like, I imagine, like, the same thing for us. Like, the last thing I feel, well, yeah, I feel the air on my skin, but that's where I spend all my life, so <laughs> it doesn't feel that much different. You raise a good point. It's just that heart, that disembodied heart being all melodramatic again. I know. Now to kill the shit out of Dowd. <laughs> 